Assalamu alaikum. In the previous video, we had discussed the solutions of linear equations in two variables using three methods that is, the substitution method, elimination method, and cross multiplication method. But there is one more method which we must discuss, and it is solution of linear equations in two variables using the graphical method. So, this method is pretty much simple, and let's discuss this method in this video. So, let us consider that we have a linear equation ax plus by is equal to c. So, since we already know that linear equations can be represented by straight lines which is the graph of every linear equation is a straight line that's why they are called linear equations in the first place so this equation right here can be represented by some graph let us consider that this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis for every value of x here there is going to be some corresponding value of y which satisfies this equation and if we form points using these values for example the value of x is taken on the x-axis and the value of y is taken on the y-axis and if we locate all these points on this plane like that all of these points which represent pairs of corresponding values of x and y which satisfy this equation right here then we are going to get a straight line so what benefit does this do for us for example we have given two equations we are given a linear equation a x1 plus b y1 equals c1 then we are given another linear equation px2 plus qy2 equals r2 here x and y are the respective variable terms of this linear equation and a b c p q r these are constants a b p and q are coefficients of their respective variables and c1 and r2 are just constants so on the x and y axis imagine we locate all the points for x1 and y1 which satisfy this equation we locate all of them and then we join them and of course it's going to be a straight line because this is a linear equation and imagine that we do the same thing for the second one we locate all the possible x2 and y2 values for which this equation is satisfied and then we locate these points on this graph we take the x value let's say it comes here x2 and then we take the y2 value for example it comes here on the y-axis then we project them and this is how we locate one point and imagine like that we locate all the points which represent pairs consisting of values of x and y satisfying these equations similarly we are going to get another straight line representing the second equation if these two linear equations have a common solution if these two linear equations will have a common solution then their graphs are going to intersect at some point as you can see here in this example then all we have to do is to find the corresponding value of x let's say call this x and the value of y and this pair x and y is going to be the solution of these two linear equations in two variables so i know that you're not getting what i'm trying to say and that's why we'll try to understand all this through a good example so let's take this example we are given a linear equation 2x1 plus 3y1 equals 0 so here 2 and 3 are the coefficients of x1 and y1 and the constant term c is equal to 0 here I have marked this x and y as x1 and y1 to represent that it's the first equation so whenever I use x1 you need to understand that this is the x variable of the first equation similarly I have marked x2 and y2 and here the constant term is 8 and the coefficients are 4 and 2 so how do we solve these two equations using the graphical method without using any kind of substitution elimination or cross multiplication so what do we do we need an independent variable and a dependent variable for each of these equations so you can select this on your own you can see that I took the first equation 2x1 minus 3y2 equals 0 on rearranging the terms and taking y in terms of this x now I have x as the independent variable and y is the dependent variable so what does this mean I can give any value to x and I'll get a corresponding value of y for which this first equation right here it will be satisfied all right so now if i give x the value of 0 then simply y1 is going to be 0 
I will record these values in this box 0 0 and similarly if this x is given a value of 9 then I will get a corresponding value of y1 as 6 so I will store this value right here and in the same way if x is given x1 is given a value of 6 then I'll get a value 4 for this y1 which I'll store in this box so in order to plot a graph you just need two pairs of values but we are going to take 3 for our convenience and in the same way for the second equation right here 4x2 minus 2y2 equals 8 I will do some rearrangements and get y2 in terms of x2 and you can see y2 simply comes out to be 2x2 minus 4 and now for every value of x2 I can get a corresponding value of y2 because y2 is dependent on x2 now if I put the value 2 for x2 then I will get 0 for y2 because 2 2's are 4 and 4 minus 4 is just 0 similarly if x2 is put as 6 I will get y2 equal to 8 right here and in the same way if x2 is put as 4 y2 will be 4 so now I have 6 pairs of values 3 for each equation and now we will plot a graph now for the first equation 2x1 minus 3y1 equals 0 in this blue box we have got three pairs of values for which the first equation is satisfied and now all we need to do is locate these points on this graph and plot so let's look at the first point x1 equals 0 y1 equals 0 also so this gets us the origin right here 0 0 and then again we've got x1 equals 9 and y1 equals 6 locate 9 on the x-axis then locate 6 on the y-axis and project we will get this point right here mark this for the first equation and then finally x1 equals 6 y1 equals 4 6 on the x-axis and 4 on the y-axis gets us this point so we have marked three points for the first equation now we simply join these three points and we will get a line which represents the first equation 2x1 minus 3y1 equals 0 now we will repeat the same for the second equation in the red box we've got three pairs of values for which the second equation is satisfied now let's plot these x2 equals 2 y2 equals 0 gets us this point 2 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis and then 6 on the x-axis and 8 on the y-axis so 6 on the x-axis and 8 on the y-axis this is going to be somewhere here so mark this and then we have 4 on the x-axis and 4 on the y-axis also so 4 on the x-axis and 4 on the y-axis gets us this point so when we join these three points we are going to get this red line which represents the second equation 4x2 minus 2y2 equals 8 now we have two straight lines on this graph the blue line this blue line represents the first equation and this red line represents the second equation these two lines intersect at one point which is this one and this point if we project down to the x-axis we get 3 and if we project it on the y-axis we get 2 so the two lines representing these two linear equations intersect at a point whose x-coordinate is 3 and the y coordinate is 2 so for the values 3 and 2 these two pairs of linear equations are satisfied so 3 2 this is the solution of these two linear equations which we found using the graphical method so now let's check we have the solution 3 2 let's substitute this in both these equations so let's take the first equation 2x1 minus 3y1 equals 0 so substitute 3 as x1 and 2 as y1 and let's see if this comes out to be 0 so this is going to be 2 3 are 6 and 3 2 are 6 6 minus 6 is 0 so the first equation is satisfied for this value now let's look for the second equation which is 4x2 minus 2y2 equals 8 so now let's substitute the values 3 as x2 and 2 as y2 so 4 times 3 minus 2 times 2 let's see if this comes out to be equal to 8 
4 3 is 12 minus 2 2 is 4 is 12 minus 4 and this comes out to be 8. So the second equation is also satisfied for this set of values which we found using the graphical method right here. The two straight lines the red one representing the second equation and the blue one representing the first equation intercepted each other at this point which is 3 2 which ultimately is the solution to these two linear equations. So this was solution of linear equations in two variables using the graphical method. Hope you like this video. If you did not like this video, leave a dislike. Thank you.